Do you know you can sew with electricity? In this guide, you'll sew your first circuit, you'll learn to sew an LED you can control with Makey Makey, and you'll even sew a conductive filled jelly donut that works as a momentary switch. You'll learn how to make a battery pack, and you'll learn a lot about sewing with circuits. Plus, you'll even learn how to integrate all these new techniques with your Makey Makey. So, let's get started. Yummy donuts. Yummy donuts. Buying components can be expensive, so we're gonna sew our own battery pack with a little felt and some conductive thread. You'll sew two conductive pads and you'll use a running stitch for you to alligator clip to. At the top of your running stitch, you're gonna want to sew about three or four stitches for that alligator clip to hold on to. And then you do the same thing on the other side. You make a second conductive pad and you do another running stitch and then voila, put it together and you've got a battery holder. Now let's sew an LED to a donut so that we can either alligator clip it to a battery pack or our Makey Makey. First, determine the polarity and find the longer leg. That's the positive leg. I use needle nose pliers to curl this leg, and then I zigzag the negative leg so when I'm sewing, I know which one's which. This will be a good visual reminder for students that one side is different than the other. You're gonna take your conductive thread and you're gonna sew about four stitches on the end of your donut to alligator clip to. Then do another simple running stitch and bring your needle up really tight and close to those LED legs, making sure that you're holding down those LED legs and you can see the thread is touching. Otherwise, you're not gonna have connectivity. Once you've sewn your positive side, make sure you tie a knot on the back and break the thread and start sewing the same thing on the other side. Make sure that this is not one continuous thread from the positive to the negative, otherwise your LED won't light up. Now it's time to test it with your battery pack. Make sure you hit the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. Now to sew a conductive filled jelly donut. You're just gonna use normal felt and your conductive thread. And what we're gonna do is after we cut our donut shape, you're gonna take your conductive thread and you wanna keep it pretty short because this stuff gets pretty sticky. And you're gonna sew probably maybe about eight to 10 uh, stitches on the side and then do a running stitch to the middle. And then I kind of made like a little flower pattern. So I just sewed in and out and in and out till I had a nice spot to be a touch point. It's gonna be a lot like our battery pack, except instead of housing a battery, we're gonna touch these two points and that is going to complete the circuit. When you get a nice uh, round even place, you're going to take your thread on the back, come through and tie a little knot. Then you're gonna break the thread because again, we don't want these to touch, otherwise our circuit's gonna be complete. So you're gonna get yourself another piece of thread, tie a knot, and do the same thing on the other side. So about eight to 10 stitches on the edge for you to alligator clip to. Um, and once you feel like you've got a nice spot there, you're gonna take a nice little running stitch up to the center and repeat just like you did before. And this is kind of cool because when you sew this thread, the felt sort of almost insulates it. It's actually gonna be hard to set this off other than when we touch both conductive points. The other thing that's really cool about this is this is the way a keyboard is made. So underneath those keys that you're pressing on your computer, there is a circuit board somewhere that when the keyboard is pressed down, those two things are touched and that is what completes the circuit. So we're making the same thing, uh, but by sewing it. So once you've got both points, you're gonna be able to uh, come up with making it a full button. So you've got your two conductive touch points, but you still need something to set it off when you set your donut on top. So what we're going to do is take a little conductive fabric to be the bridge that bridges the circuit. So right now what I'm gonna do is make a little mark so I can see where that is, and then I'm just gonna put a piece of conductive tape here. I could sew this if I wanted. Um, I'm being a little bit lazy, but also this conductive fabric tape is just amazing. Your first inclination might be to plop this top of donut down on here and you're done, but you've got to put some filling in as an insulator. Otherwise your circuit will always be going off. You'll be completing the circuit and this won't function as a momentary switch. So if we want it to only go off when we press down, we're going to take some stuffing and we're going to put it so that it's around our donut to make the outside of our donut. And we're going to make sure that the stuffing does not cross our two conductive touch pads because otherwise our donut's not going to work. So we're gonna take some thread and kind of, this is almost like trapunto, which is when you're sew stuffing uh, in a felt design. So we're going to 
do a little bit of that by holding it together and it's kind of just going to keep give our donut some shape on the bottom now we're ready to take the top of the donut and just do a nice little stitch to sew our two donut pieces together and we are going to have a conductive donut ladies and gentlemen let's test it so you can use an alligator clip and here i actually took a safety pin uh, so i could safety pin my alligator clip i took off the regular head and put on a safety pin uh, and that's just a, a sewing trick to help me if i want to test it and it not come off well let's put everything together we've got our donut breaking the circuit and i'm using my alligator clips here in a way that hopefully can help you see what's going on. My positive side of the battery is the yellow alligator clip and it's hooked to the positive side of the LED and the negative side of the LED is hooked to my jelly donut and the other end is hooked to my battery so that's what's breaking the circuit. Now to use Makey Makey I'm going to do a similar thing but I'm actually going to hook up my donut to what the earth and one to a key press and for my LED I'm going to use key out and hook the key out to the yellow alligator clip and I'm going to hook earth to the gray alligator clip. To hook up my conductive jelly donut I take one side to a key press and one side to earth and now I've got a conductive jelly donut that works with Makey Makey or with a battery pack. Check out our labs guide for breakout tutorials and even more sewing with circuits tips for Makey Makey. Have fun and keep tinkering.